Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. I just watched. Wow. Okay. I keep burping for some reason. Um. I just watched this video and it's from this girl who's blind and she doesn't look blind actually. She um. I don't know. She has like this like eye like disease that's like incredibly rare and causes her like eyes to shake which is barely noticeable unless you're like really really paying attention and her eyes like she doesn't have a lazy eye or anything oh we know she did but then she got like surgically corrected um but she doesn't really look blind and she doesn't act blind because the first 14 ish years of her life she wasn't blind she was just losing her vision gradually and then when she turned 14 she lost her vision completely and um like she was just saying that like she went through like incredible depression and all that because of like i can tell you right now like teenage years suck i'm living them right now like they suck balls so many balls but i mean it's like to admit, i can't even imagine like losing your eyesight in that point of time either like that's just insane to me um and she said she went through like a lot of depression because of that and then um which is understandable like who wouldn't go through depression like, you're discovering yourself, but then you also lose an incredibly huge part of yourself at the same fucking time. Like, oh my god, she's got a hard... She was hit hard with the, that kind of thing. Like, jeez. Um, but she was just talking about how she moves on and she's, like, accepted herself and, like, um, she just accepted blindness as a part of her life and, like, um, yada, yada, yada. And she's, like, a motivational speaker. Um... Which I think is really cool, and I love her. Um, she's got, like, very sarcastic, like, funny humor. She's very outgoing. She's, like, very talkative. Um, she's very argumentative, too. Debating and stuff. So I kind of, like, relate to her in a lot of um, aspects. And I think she's, like, incredibly inspiring. And then she did this video where it was, like, a boyfriend tag. But it was, like, sarcastic because, like, he's not her actual boyfriend. He's, um, like, he's gay. And he's her best friend. But she's, like, um, a lot of people think they're together because, um, for those who don't know, like, when you're blind, you need someone to guide you, and you typically hold them, like, on the elbow, like, uh, hold on, let's see if I can actually have this up, yeah, okay, it looks okay, but, like, you hold them, like, right here in this area, so that you can feel where they're guiding you, and, <sighs> Um, and so, like, she does that with him a lot, like, when she's walking, she needs guidance or whatever. She actually has a guide dog named Gallup, too, but, um, uh, who's adorable. I like, oh my god, he's so adorable. But, um, so, like, um, he guides her. And so, like, to each, like, everyone, like, it looks like they're a couple because she's, she's always, like, holding on to him. Like, that so it kind of looks like a couple-y kind of, like, body language, I guess you could say. And they're always, like, talking and stuff. And then she doesn't really look blind because she doesn't have lazy eyes and her eyes aren't, like, closed because, like, she, um, like, she just has that little shaking problem. And she also can see a little bit. Like, she has, like, um light perception so she can see like light and like dark but like she and she can slightly discern like silhouettes if they're in the light but she like can't discern anything else um and so um uh so like a lot of people like will go up to them and be like oh my god how long have you been together like you're so cute blah 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 but they're not together, it's just that she's blind, and, like, she needs the support, but they're best friends, and, um, and he's gay, so, like, you know, so that was kind of, like, the joke of the video, and they were just talking casually and stuff, and then, um, actually, this, I've been, like, kind of, like, binge-watching her a little bit, like, so I've been watching, like, a lot of her older videos, um, and this was one from, like, 2017, 
And, um, so yeah, she's, like, talking to him, and then she's, like, talking about how they met. And he apparently, like, came out, like, about a year ago. Um, and <laughs> he said that, like, he was, um, still, uh, closeted when he met her, um, at this, like, blind camp thing that his family, like, fundraises, kind of. Or, like, yeah, kind of, sort of. Um, and so, like, they were doing that, and then, um, he was talking about that, and he said that, like, they met, like, through a hike when they first, like, started talking and, like, stuff. And, um, he ended up being, like, he thought she would like him. Um, which she said she didn't. She just saw him as a friend because she was already, like, starting a relationship with someone else. So she totally saw him as, like, a platonic friendship. But in his mind, he was just like, oh, my God, someone's gonna like me. And I know I'm gay. Like, oh, my God. And, um... <laughs> So, like, he was all, like, afraid of, like, rejecting people and stuff. And, um, and, like, having to tell them, like, I don't like you. But then also being, like, rude about it. But then he was also worried about, like, rejecting them and being, like, I'm gay. That's why I'm rejecting you. I'm sorry. Um, but, um, and then so he thought Molly liked him. <laughs> and so they were walking together, like, on this hike or whatever. And then he told her that he was gay. And she was just like, okay. Like, oh, my God. Um, like, what are you telling me this for? <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> and it was that, and it was funny. Um, and then, so they start, like, continuing on with their questions and answers. Um, and, like, a lot of them were just kind of funny and silly, and, like, it was just really nice to see their, like, chemistry, because they were, like, very similar, because they were both talking about how they're, like, both really, like, like, talkers, and they all both love argument, argue, arguing and they both love like uh being right and they said that a lot of people don't really like clash with that and I relate to that a lot because a lot of my friends don't really like disagree with me a lot either or if we do disagree we kind of just like very like okay I'll agree to disagree or whatever um or sometimes like we'll argue and then like something will look up and then I'll just be like okay fine I was wrong or like ha I was right like bo bo what and <laughs> Um, which is also why I think it, like, my relationship with Super Buddy is kind of, like, kind of similar to their relationship, but kind of not, because Super Buddy is just so unrelenting that he doesn't want to admit that he's wrong, which I don't want to admit that I'm wrong either, but, like, he just refuses to accept that he's wrong, even if those facts are staring him straight in the face. He's just not one of those people. And it's really frustrating because, like, I get wanting to be right. Like, dude, I'm the same way, but, like, when there are facts, like, you just kind of have to admit, like, I was wrong. But, like, he just refuses. Like, in all that I've ever known of Super Buddy, he's never once admitted he's wrong. Or said, oh, I'm sorry. Like, he's never once apologized to me. Unless it was something, like, we, like, I don't, yeah, he's never once apologized to me. Like, he's, you, like, he's a really sweet personality. But then, like, anything, like, we argue over every sort of thing is, like, a lot of stuff he'll say is, like, a statement, and I'll disagree with him, and then he'll, like, fight me on it, and, like, it's just, or I'll say something like, oh, I agree, but then I also have this to add, and then he'll disagree with what I have to add to what he has to offer. Like, it's just a lot of what we fight against is really stupid, and I realize this, and then, but for some reason, he still heats me up, and then I get pissed off, and I'm just like, boy, can you just relent and give me, like, an inch, like, please like obviously like you can't always be right like just can you please like just let me have my say boy like I suppose I'm wrong he's getting slightly better letting me talk a little bit more than he used to but like <sighs> super buddy like okay anyways let's continue on with the lovely blind girl and gay guy sorry um so they were talking about that and they were talking about they're like very argumentative and blah 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 and then um he was talking about how like she inspires him as a person because like she um when they first met he was gay and he was like struggling to like accept himself and like be open about his gayness you know i can't relate a little bit too much there you know what i'm saying and um and um so he's talking about that and he said that like 
for Molly, like, she was so, oh, the, like, the blind girl's name is Molly Burke. She's a YouTuber. Like, check her out. Look, she's amazing, you know? Um, I also, I accidentally discovered her from, like, um, Shane Dawson. Like, she did a video with Shane Dawson, and I just thought she was, like, such a, like, warm, like, sweet personality. I was like, I gotta check this girl out. And then I'm, like, watching her videos, and I'm just like, oh, my God, this girl is, like, wow. Like, it's insane. Um... <laughs> yeah uh so yeah which honestly i think it would be really cool to be a motivational speaker because like you get to travel you get to like meet new people and stuff the only thing i need to like work on is i would, would the only motivational speaker would be like public speaking because i'm not very good at it yet i'm working there i'm working there which honestly i think is one of the perks of being a, um a motivational speaker who's blind because like you don't get to see the audience like I mean, sure, you get, like, the nervous, like, stage jitters, but I'm sure it's a lot less, um, like, nerve-wracking for someone who can't see, because, like, although you can hear the crowd, like, you can't really, like, see their eyes and, like, their, like, imagine, like, or, like, oh, I guess you could, though, because, like, if you're blind, like, you can still imagine, like, people judging you, so, like, I guess she still does have, like, stage fright and stuff, like, has to deal with that, but, like, um, besides the point, um, so I guess she's just really inspiring, I love her. Um, anyways, so Molly was, um, he was talking about how Molly had inspired him because, like, he was so, like, scared to be himself. Um, and then he met her, and Molly's just, like, so accepting of all her flaws, and she sees her disability as not a disability, but as a part of who she is, and she's, like, accepted it and moved on and been like, yeah, this is just who I am, like, I don't know who I would be without my blindness, blah, 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 blah. And, um, it's just, like, part of her, you know? And a lot of people, like, if they're, like, injured or something, they're kind of, like, trying, or they, like, um, or they have something that's usually, like, seen as, like, a negativity. Um, they're, like, always trying to, like, move forward or better themselves. And she just kind of, like, accepted herself. And he was just, like, so inspired by that because, like, he was... Gay and he was like struggling to accept himself and like she was really an important like inspiring person during that time for him and I just found that like really cool because like it's the same for me because like um I'm <laughs> having seen next month uh and I am teenager adolescence like whatever the fuck you want to call it I'm discovering myself when it's like really ins like inspiring to like meet meet these people like online virtually who are like so like okay with themselves and like it's just inspired me to be okay with myself and like gain more confidence um sure I have my moments <laughs> as we've seen on this channel where I lose my confidence and I just like have so much self-doubt but watching these people like just helps me like regain my confidence and like helps me to like better understand myself because their stories are helping me like um grow my own stories you know um i hope that makes sense that probably makes no fucking sense wow okay um although i did kind of get a little bit of an ego boost um i think it was friday um one of my best friends she was uh she was, I don't want to go into too many details because I don't want her to get mad at me. But she was dealing with something and it was mainly because like a bunch of people were saying this stuff about her and she just started believing it herself. And I personally was just like, at first I was like unsure how to like approach it because like I didn't really know how she um, felt about it because she was just kind of like, I don't want to be this way, but this is how I feel like I could be. And like, I don't want to be this way, but I see myself being this way and I don't know how to stop it. And I was just kind of like... I don't know, and then I was just thinking more and more about it, and I was just kind of like, wow, this is actually kind of like, uh, because the way she made it sound, like, it was just something that she, like, truly didn't want, like, she was afraid of it, and, like, she didn't want to be, like, this bad person, and, um, that, like, she, like, thought she was gonna become in the future, um, and I think it was, like, because a lot of people kept telling her this. And I was just kind of like, okay, I think I know how to, like, approach this. Um, and 
like, she kept, like, looking at me like she was expecting something. And I was disappointing her somehow, and I felt so bad because I couldn't think of anything. But then once I started realizing that, like, it was, um, she started off with that, like, my friend told me this. And then now I think this is how I'm going to be in the future. Then that's when I made the connection that it's from these people. It's from this person that, like, she's thinking this. And, um... And so she could be this way in the future, she could not be. Like, it doesn't really matter. It's just that, like, in that moment, she was terrified. She didn't want to be this way. And I was, like, struggling to, like, make her, like, feel better. And, like, she was expecting something from me. And I didn't realize that until, like, I saw her face and I was like, she's expecting something from me. Like, I need to give her something. Like, we'll thank you. So I was like, come on, let's go. Like, and then, <laughs> and then, like, when I made that connection, it hit me. Like, she's thinking this way because people are telling her and it's kind of like peer pressure and it's kind of like I don't know and it like related to me because I was thinking about how like when I was growing up I I had no idea what my sexuality was I had no idea what sexualities even were I just thought straight was like the only thing that was around like you know and I just thought like every girl saw other girls and was like oh she's attractive like I just thought that was like a thing and um it wasn't until later that I realized like no, you're not straight. Like, this isn't how, like, girls normally, the normal girls think. And, um, at first I kind of, like, struggled to, like, ex like understand slash accept it. Because I was just kind of like, I don't want to be different. Like, I don't want to be, like, separated. Like, this is just one more thing to separate me from other people. Like, fucking fantastic. Like, great. Um, because <laughs> I was dealing with my mom. I was dealing with being, like... Or I was dealing with like a bunch of other shit, and I was just like, "Great, one more reason to separate myself from other people." Like that's fucking fantastic. And but I wasn't just attracted to girls either. I was attracted to girl guys and like other stuff. And then it was only until recently that I realized that I'm not just bi. Like I'm also attracted to pant trans and other people. And so I was just thinking about how like her situation kind of related to mine because I was just so sure that I was straight growing up because that was all I was told. And all that I was exposed to because I had, like, no idea. Like, I just thought this way because that's what was the norm. And that was kind of what would hap was happening with her because she was so terrified of being this way because people kept telling her that she was going to be this way. It's kind of like those kids who are, like, pressured into being, like, careers that they really don't want to be. Like, some kids, like, especially, like, I hate to say it, but, like, stereotypically and I know like I've known a lot of like Indian people and they're like a lot of them are doctors and sometimes it's because they really want to be doctors and sometimes it's because their families are pressuring them into being doctors and um and I think and then also like white people like deal with this and Asians deal with it. I think pretty much everyone deals with this like where their parents like are telling them like you're gonna be this way, and so they think that they're gonna be this way, and then it isn't until, like, high school or somewhere around then that, that they realize, I don't want to be this way, and it kind of, like, fucks with them, and that was kind of with her, but it was more of, like, she, like, didn't think she was this way, but then because so many people were telling her that she was gonna be this way, she started to think she was gonna be this way, and then she started freaking out over that, and so I was trying to, like, tell her that, and then she was just kind of, like, oh, yeah, and, th and then she started, like, calm me down, and I was, like, okay, thank because, like, I don't deal with, well with freaking out people. And, like, I just felt that really bad. Because, like, she was expecting something from me. And it was just, like, very, like, kind of stressful. Um, but it was kind of, like, eye-opening. Me, me opening. Wow. Eye-opening. Wow. I'm so good at this. Wow. Okay. Eye-opening for me. Because I didn't realize, like, people would come to me for, like, advice. Like, I just, I just never thought I was one of those people. Because, like, I'm... I mean, like, you've seen this channel. Like, I do stupid sh I walk into walls, for God's sakes. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> do I need to explain myself? Like, I just do not see myself as, like, someone who gives advice. Um, I, well, I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of this video. Because, like, well, I mean, just my channel in general. Because, like, the whole point of this channel is because, like, I want to share my story. I want to share, like, my experiences with people. Like, as advice. Which I never really saw it as advice. I kind of just saw it as, like, here's my piece in life. Like, you can take it as what you want. Like, this is just what I'm telling you. Because, A, it helps me therapeutically. Probably shouldn't be helping me therapeutically. But, you know what? Whatever. It's a way that I um, cope. 
uh, I don't know. And, <laughs> like, B, like, I just feel like it could help people. Like, just to know other people's stories. And, I don't know, maybe it's entertaining. Because I personally like watching, like, some YouTubers, like, just, like, ramble with their lives. Because, like, it's just cute. It's funny. It's, like, it's just interesting to, like, hear other people's perspectives. And so I was thinking that when I made this channel. But also because, like, I needed some kind of outlet and writing isn't really cutting it anymore i don't know why um it just isn't uh, maybe i just kind of i don't know it's just maybe it's just that like it's become such a normal like part of my life and it's kind of become sort of stressful now because high school like writing is like a necessity to life um Yes, that was a jungle book reference. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a nerd, okay? Excuse me. Um, and... What was I going to say? What was I going to say? It is really dark out. Okay. Uh, huh. I lost my train of thought. Also, why I don't think I'm a good advice maker? Because, like, I lose my train of thought. I don't even know where the fuck I am in life right now. So, like, how am I supposed to help people? Like... Excuse me, like, that just, like, really shocked me and, like, humbles me that, like, one of my, like, closest friends, like, actually looked to me for advice. Because usually she's the one who's been together. Usually she's the one who, like, understands what the fuck is going on. Like, she usually she's, like, she's, like, the really big, like, calm, like, collected, like, person, usually. Sometimes she'll, like, have her little, like, fangirl, like, cute moments. But usually she's like that. And usually I'm the one who's, like, the fucking mess and, like, don't know what to fucking do. And... The fact that she came to me for, like, help just, like, really, like, humbled me because she's not really the kind of person who, like, goes to you for help. Um, like, anyone, really. And the fact that she went to me, of all people, to, for help was just very, like, wow. Like, she truly, like, respects and loves me. Like, oh, I love you too, boo. Like, oh. And, <laughs> I don't know. It was just crazy. Um me but yeah i don't know how talking about molly burke and her boyfriend led to that but it did so like you know whatever what was that head bob okay you know what angela just nah okay um i also love how i went from whining about my entire day in the last video and now to this video being like oh my god i'm so inspirational guys right <laughs> like Really? <laughs> really? Okay, then. Uh, yeah, also my phone is like... 5%? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of dying a little bit. A little bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then also... <sighs> I'm not hungry, but, like, there's food, and, like, it's really good food, and, like, I want to eat it because it's really good food, but I'm not hungry, so, like, I'm debating whether I should go and eat, even though I'm not hungry, just because there's good food. Like... <laughs> Well, is this what they call binge eating? I don't know. But, like, <laughs> clearly I have a problem with me. Um, yeah. Um... <laughs> um I also realized recently that I can make my mouth really flat. Like, it's weird. Maybe it's because I have no fucking lips, but it's really funny. It's like... Mm, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. Uh, wow, I'm
I'm great at this, aren't I? Like, <laughs> but I don't want it in the videos. Like, you know what? <clears> oh <throat> no. Molly Brooks is just really inspiring. If you haven't watched her yet, like, watch her because she's, like, fucking bomb as fuck. Um, and then. Also, if you don't want to watch it just for her, like, watch it for her dog. Her dog is adorable. Adorable. Like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> um, and her mom. Her mom lives with her, and her mom is adorable, too. Um, but also, like, Molly's inspiring because she's just so independent. Like, even though she's blind, like, she'll depend on people for a little bit. But, like, a lot of times, like, she's, like, incredibly independent for someone who's blind and so disabled, you know? I think it's pretty cool. Um, I think that's also part of the reason why a lot of people don't think she's blind. Because she's just so, like, independent and, like, I don't know. She's just really, like, cool, like, inspiring person. So, like, yeah. Um... Oh my god, what if I title this title Molly Burke and then like, I mean, title this video Molly Burke and then someone types in Molly Burke like looking for the like inspiring blind girl who's like gorgeous and doesn't even realize it and then they click on <clears throat> uh -huh. Yeah, we're just going to move on. Um, I think I still might put in Lily Burke just as a joke. Because I noticed that some of my new videos, um, they have, like, trendy, like, video titles, which I don't even do on purpose. Like, just kind of, like, happen. And then I'm like, oh, shit. And then I, like, look at my videos, and I'm just like, oh, my God, I have, like, 71, like, watchers, like, viewers. And I'm just kind of like, they probably clicked on my video for two seconds, saw my ugly-ass face, and watched my ugly-ass for like maybe went two seconds and then we're like, adios, <laughs> then literally what happened probably. Um, so yeah, I'm sure that was interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to title my videos trendy titles because like it's just kind of like weird, like knowing that so many one people like watch me even for a little bit. Like this is kind of like, oh, oh no, don't watch the potato, please. Like. <laughs> It's not okay. Like, it's not safe for work. <laughs> um. Yeah. I'm running out of time. Also, battery. Like, I'm at fucking 3%. Like, it's great. Uh. The voice is really, like, I mean, that sound is really fun to make, but it's kind of hard. Um, and it doesn't last very long because it, like, it's based on, like, how much, like, breath I have in my, like, lungs. And it's hard to do, you know? Um, it's very creepy, though, and it's funny. Um, speaking of creepy, I, like, was watching this movie with my uncle, and he was just kind of like, it's a little bit weird. And I was like, yeah, I know. It was, like, a lot of different, like, it was, like, based in, like, the 1800s, and it was, like, three different kingdoms, and these three different kingdoms, like, have, like, a weird, um, like, they all have, like, weird quirks. Like, one of them, the dad, um, has this daughter, and it's his only daughter, and she's, like, young. She's, like, maybe a little younger than me, like, 15, 16, and, um, she, like, is obsessed with having a boyfriend, blah, 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 or marrying off to someone, and her dad is, like, obsessed with this bug. Like, literally, like, this flea, like, fell on his hand. And he was just like, oh, my God, this flea is so cool. And they ended up, like, feeding it a lot. And then it, like, grew. And it grew. I was trying to figure it out because, like, when in the beginning, when it was tiny, it looked like a tick. And I was like, that's a weird-looking tick. Like, God. And then as it grew older, like, bigger, I was like, oh, my God, that's a flea. That's not a tick. That's a flea. That's disgusting. And then... His flea ended up, like, growing, like, huge. Like, 
monster sized huge and it was so gross and I was just like ugh and um this is just disgusting that's all he cared about he didn't really care about his daughter um and his daughter didn't really care about him she was kind of like mainly obsessed with like her boyfriend like her future hubby you know what I mean and um which actually is not that unusual from nowadays like a lot of girls like all they care about is their boyfriend I'm just gonna like okay or you have the opposite where there's like feminine feminists and they're just like all about like I live on my own like <laughs> can you just like be happy with yourself and then like know that like you might end up with someone and like you might not like it just depends like can you just maybe not obsess over someone like um I say that but like a lot of my friends are like that and I love them so like I don't mean to offend you like you guys are great love you I love you so much just get a tad annoying when you get like that but like you're fine um also, my phone's at 2% now, like, great. Okay, um, charger, 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 charger! Um, anyway, so that's what happened. And then, he, he his, his giant-ass flea ended up, like, dying. Ah, I don't know how. But it ended up dying, and, like, he ended up, like, skid- yeah. Oh, wow. I said I was burpy today, didn't I? Um, but his giant-ass flea- Oh, my God, did you hear my back crack? Like, it never does that. I'm just- like freaking in pain okay <laughs> um working out does not agree with me <laughs> i'm allergic um uh but that he ended up skinning the giant flea and his daughter was like i want a hubby and then he was like you know what let's do a hubby like this do a test for your little hubby boo and then she's like what a test and then he was like yeah like, whoever can discern, like, what this hide is from, which was the skinned flea hide, and he didn't think anyone was going to get it because, like, who would get, like, a giant-ass flea, you know what I mean? And this caveman, like, dude, like, Neanderthal dude, like, came in and he smelled it and he was like, it's a flea. And then the dude was like, oh, my God. And then the little girl was like, oh, my God! Oh, my God, I can't love that! He's going to eat me! <laughs> and then, like, freaking out, of course... And then she literally almost committed suicide, and it was just kind of like, okay, like, a little bit odd, like, okay. But it's also kind of really interesting, because it's just, like, weird, but then also it's also kind of fascinating, because, like, um, there's, like, all these different perspectives, and it's not, like, a, a usual plot, like, you have to, like, discern and, like, learn a lot of stuff from your, like, own, and, like, think about it a lot, um, and, like, you have your own, like, opinions on it, and, like, you can, like, make your own, like, assumptions from it. Like, it's not just given to, like, a normal movie, which I think is really interesting. And I really liked it. Um, I didn't actually finish it. We only got, like, it's, like, two hours long. And we only got, like, halfway. So, it's, like, an hour. Also, this video is almost done. So, like, adios, amigos. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, bye.